This video is about the Sublimation Freestyle Art Library. Freestyle Sublimation customers now have access to their own art library. They can view this library two ways. When logged into their Ecom account, they can click on my account and in the lower left under my freestyle designs, click my art library. Let's show that experience. Over here at the top, you and you are logged into your Ecom account, drop down and choose my account. Over on the left hand side, you're going to see my freestyle designs and under that my art library and you can click here. The other way that you can access your art library is when you're in the builder designing, it's in step three. And we will show this area later in the video as we build a design. You will find that there is a potential of three different types of artwork in a customer's art library, vector art, raster art, and freestyle art. Let's take a moment to talk about each one. Over here, there's a little info button. And if you click on it, it tells you all about the different types of artwork that we have and what we can accept. The first one with the blue square and the V in the middle is vector art. This is our preferred method of artwork to upload. There are no additional fees, no minimums, and no extra lead time when using vector art. Here are the file formats that we can accept. If you see a triangle, a red triangle with an R in the middle, that is raster art. These are the file formats that we can accept, but please know when submitting raster art, our art team does have to redraw this. It is a 12 piece minimum, $6 MSRP upcharge for the first 50 garments. There's an additional five business day lead time However, there is no additional charge or minimums for any reorders. Our last piece of art that you may see in an art library, and it is a new feature, it's called freestyle art. You'll find this with a green square with the freestyle logo in the middle. What freestyle art is, uh, it gives the customer the ability to change their artwork on the fly. So. If you have um, a piece of raster art or vector art that you've uploaded, once it is approved, we've placed an order against it, the artwork's now approved, our art team will go in and remove the raster or the vector art from your video library or your art library, excuse me, and they will upload the freestyle version. Uh, you will see when we go to build a design, how you can now change the colors of a freestyle piece of art. Right. If you want to upload any artwork to save for a later date or to use immediately, you can go right here and drag and drop into this re uh, uh, rectangle, or you can browse and upload, and it'll just upload all um, any files that you want. You also have the option to name your file and give tags to your files so that you can search for things faster. So maybe I want to search Brewer and it gives me everything that I've named Brewers and I've tagged Brewers. So it's an easy way to find stuff. You can also use the trash can to delete. And there's an edit tool feature if you want to change any of your taggings or names. Okay. Okay. We're going to hop over to the builder and build a design using our different types of artwork that we have available from our art library. To get to the main page of the Augusta Sportswear website, you're going to go up here and click on your logos. And in the search bar, I'm going to put in 228180, one of our sublimated style numbers. It'll take you to the landing page of that style where you're going to click on decorate with freestyle. 
follow the same processes that you would to um, de uh, decorate and build any other design. First, start with the design line that you want to use. And then go to your colors in step two. Choose the colors that you want. And then you're going to move to step three, which is the text and logo section. So this is where you can upload your artwork. We are going to first, let's take our braves here and do an edit to delete that in the front. So we drop down, we hit edit, we go to the delete and we click and you'll see it's gone. Now let's add a piece of artwork and click add art. You first have to choose where you want that art to be. So let's do full center and in the front. And here you can drag and drop a piece of art, which will then go into your art library. You can browse and upload uh, artwork and put that in your art library right here as well. Here you'll see um, everything that's in your library. There is also the stock. So our stock library is also available. We'll go back up here and here's that info button. Again, when you click on it, it explains what each of them mean, any charges or not charges and tells you about freestyle art. Okay. So in looking at this, we are noticing that we have some vector art, we have some raster art, and we do have some freestyle art. I'm going to go ahead and pick the freestyle. And you'll see it populates just the way it was originally. And if I go down, I still have the ability to make adjustments, change the height, but here, new feature, you can apply color. So maybe for this one, I wanna change it to lime to match my jerseys this time. And you'll see that it makes the change. I'm gonna leave my color to the same uh, as it is, but know that you can change it if you want to. For example, let's just say we switch this to graphite. You'll see that it changed. Um, oops, it changed color one. Maybe we'll make color two lime. So you can see how that works, okay? Again, you do have to make sure this is where you want it. If you wanna change it somewhere else, you can, and then just hit done. So that's how you can use a piece of freestyle art. So originally this artwork was on, um, someone uploaded it, they placed an order against it, the art got approved, and the art team went in, made it freestyle art, uploaded it to their library, and then deleted either the raster or the vector art that was in there before, okay? Let's take a look at that library again. Okay, so what would happen now is if I use one of my um, pieces of raster art, I'm going to click on it. Now, it isn't going to populate and tell me about the charges because it initially told me about those charges when I uploaded it. Okay, so that's an important call out. Um, you, if there is, um, if you pick one and you decide that you don't want that one, you can use the X to remove it. Click our, where you want it again, and then you can choose another one. Let's try a vector art this time. And you'll see it's right up there, okay? Um, again, they will get an art proof. And once approved, the art team will go in, they will make this logo freestyle art, and they will remove the vector logo, okay? scroll down, you can adjust the height, but you'll see that you do not have the option to change the colors. That's because this is vector art. You're going to click done. And again, go to your roster section and you're going to do the same thing that you normally would do. Filling in your roster, adding your comments, going to your summary, and then putting it in your cart and checking out. This concludes our video on the sublimation art library. Thank you.